you really don't need a big budget in order to start your detailing business. Money is not going to be a determining factor to whether you're not or not you're successful with your business. And the keyword here is to start. So in this video, I'm going to give you some examples or break down how you're able to start your business with minimal tools, product experience or money. And by the way, if you want to generate more traffic, leads, and sales into your business, then I'm opening up enrollments into my online marketing course, SEO for Detailers, on November 18th. SEO is search engine optimization, and that's when you rank your website on the first page of Google in your local area for targeted keywords. So let's say you're in Austin, you'd want to rank for keywords like Austin Auto Detailing, Austin Car Detailing, or Austin Paint Correction. SEO is one of the primary reasons we've passed $10,000 per month in our business. If you'd like to learn more or get notified when the doors open up, click the link in the description box down below to get notified, and let's get back to the video. And here's the thing, most detailers start off with minimal experience or resources, meaning they don't have five years of experience detailing a bunch of different vehicles. They don't have this huge arsenal of tools and products that they need for every single job. And they don't have a ton of money just to go and pay for training or to get more extracted or tools when they need it. Everyone starts off with the bare essentials. And that's why you should never compare your first month or your first year in business to someone else's seventh year in business or 10th year in business because there's such a big gap in time that it's just unfair to you to compare yourself to someone else that's been doing it for so much longer. Every detailer is on their own path. They're after their own goals. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing, right? Just because you're starting off with maybe less experience, less resources as far as time or money, maybe you don't have all the tools and products that you think you need or that you want, that doesn't mean you can't still be successful. That doesn't mean you're not gonna be successful. You're just on your own and you're in your own lane following the path that you think is right for you. For instance, we have this 2015 Ram ProMaster with a bunch of tools, product machines in there to get the job done. And when it comes to paint correction and polishing, we have about 10 different polishers, different sizes, different brands to get the job done. And we have two shops in total combining 5,000 square feet of space. Now this can all seem overwhelming, but the reason why I say that is because if we go back in time 10 years to around 2011, there was nothing of this. I was just getting started. I had very little experience. I maybe had like a little cheap steamer and like working out of my 2003 Toyota Matrix XRS. But slowly, month after month, year after year, as you get just 1% better every single day and you keep on pushing your goals further and further and you keep on trying to push your business forward and you know you just do your best to reach that next level over time whether that's one year five years or ten years you're now at a different point in your business than where you were when you first started and here's something very important to understand when I was using a $200 steamer for interior cleanings I got amazing results and the customers were happy. When I upgraded to a $400 extractor, I got amazing results and the customers were happy. When we upgraded to a $3,000 extractor, we got amazing results and the customers were happy. So regardless of the tool that I was using, whether it was when I first started and I had very little tools and products and not that, much re not that many resources, whether it was when I was able to upgrade a little bit and get a bit better machines, or now when we're using basically just the top of the line extractor that you can use, at every point of that journey, we were still able to get amazing results and the customers were always happy and satisfied with the results. Now don't get me wrong, there's a big difference between a $400 extractor and a $3,000 extractor. One's gonna be a lot faster, a lot bigger, you can do a lot more vehicles. It's a, you're gonna get better results in a, in a shorter time frame, but that's not the point. It's saying wherever you are in your business with the experience, with the tools, with the products, with whatever it is, you can make it work. And over time, like I always say, it's progress over perfection. Right now you're working with a $200, whatever it is. In a few months, you upgrade to a $400 one. In a few months, a few years, whatever that, you know, whatever the timeline looks like, you upgrade to a $1,200 one, right? It's just 
little by little, month after month, year after year, you'll upgrade everything in your arsenal because your business is growing, you're making more money, you have more experience, and that's just what you wanna do with your business. You wanna keep on pushing the business forward and upgrading as you go. So yes, if you're on a budget and you can't spend $4,000 to get your business started, that's fine. A lot of us other detailers are started in that same spot. Start with the bare essentials. If you can only spend $500 to get your tools and products, spend that, focus on getting customers, make money, reinvest the money back into your business and keep on upgrading. And I'm telling you, month after month, year after year, you're gonna look back one day and say, wow, it's been you know, six months, a year, two years, three years, we've come a long way. But it's about putting in the work and actually doing it day by day, month by month, year by year. Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of tips or advice would you give someone that's just starting their detailing business. And if you do wanna get more information about my online marketing course, SEO for Detailers, you can click the description box down below and get on the waiting list to be the first ones to get notified when the doors open up, which is on Friday, November 18th. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you on the next one.